Hi, good morning. It's lovely to be with you for this 21 days of prayer and fasting. For those of you that don't know me, my name's Trina Simpson and I'm part of the Loughton Congregation. I'm also on the Restore staff team. So this morning we're going to be looking at how we pray and I want to read from Matthew 6 verses 7 and 8. I'm going to read from the Amplified Version. And when you pray, do not heap up phrases, multiply words, repeating the same ones as the Gentiles do, for they think they will be heard by their much speaking. I love that. They think they'll be heard by their much speaking. And I think sometimes we have that tendency too, that if we go to God repeating the same thing, and if we go to God speaking a little bit more, that he'll hear us more. You know, we've got a father in heaven who loves us and who cares about us. And he, he wants us to sit down and connect with him heart to heart and to talk to him. That's what prayer is. It's that talking to our father and just letting him see who we are and where we are and what we need. And I remember many years ago when I first got to know Jesus, I was 27. I won't tell you how many years ago it was, but I would started keeping a prayer journal. I didn't know it was a prayer journal. I just didn't know how to pray. And so I used to write letters to God and I'd sign off the letters, lots of love, Trina. And one day I was telling the lady that was discipling me that I was doing this. And she said to me, that's fantastic. She said, how do you listen to what God replies? And I sort of looked at her and said, what do you mean? She said, well, if you're writing a letter to God, he's gonna to want to answer. She said, so how do you give him space? And so what I started to do was to, once I'd finished journaling, I'd write the letter L in my journal with a circle. And I'd just wait and I'd ask the Holy Spirit to speak to me. And then I'd write down things that I felt the Holy Spirit was saying. And sometimes it was my own voice that was getting in the way. But you know, as I started to do this more and more, it's a practice I still follow today. But as I do it more and more, I get more able to weed out my own voice, to weed out the things that aren't of God. And I find it helps me hear God much more clearly. And so I just want to encourage you today that when you are praying, when you are talking to our Father in heaven, talk from your heart, but just like you would with a really good friend, take a breath, ask him what he thinks, let him talk to you. Is it okay if I pray for you? Let's close our eyes for a minute. Father, we just ask that you speak to us clearly. We ask you to help us create those moments and spaces in our day when we really can set time aside, even if it's short times, time aside to know that you're not only a God who is, but you're a God who answers. And that it's your great joy and delight to spend time with us as we talk to you. So Father, Holy Spirit, will you speak to us today? And will you encourage us to hear your answers, to act on what you say, and to include you fully in our lives? In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day.